Hi girlfriends, Naturally Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you like what you see, then please hit that subscribe button down below. This week, I will be doing a wash and go featuring two products from this month's curl box. If you did not see my unboxing video, I will link that in the cards up above and the description box down below. This month's curl box was featuring all products from Luster's Pink. All of these products came from Luster Pink's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil line. So I will be using the Super Moisturizing Curl Definer with Shea Butter and Coconut Oil, plus Argan and Safflower Oils, Papaya and Cola Nut Extracts and Vitamin E. This will be my leave-in. And then I'll be topping that off with the Curl Poppin' Defining Gel with Shea Butter and Coconut Oil plus Black Castor Oil for wash and go styling. So this is what the curl definer looks like. And if I remember correctly, that is supposed to give you like a medium hold. And then this is the gel. This is supposed to be a flexible hold. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. So my hair is already shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and detangled. So this is a nice thick cream. But not too thick. It was very easy to work it into my hands and my hair. So I used the shampoo that came in the curl box that is from this same line and I enjoyed it. It definitely left my hair squeaky clean and it had a nice lather. I enjoyed the conditioner as well. It had a decent amount of slip and I was able to detangle my hair. Not the most slip, but it was good. To detangle my hair, I used the Aussie Moist, or is it Aussie Miracle? One of those two, Aussie Moist or Aussie Miracle three minute, no, I think it's Aussie Moist three minute miracle, I think. But I use that. Okay, this is my hair with just the curl definer. Okay, y'all, this gel is very thick. So make sure that you work it in well and that your hair is nice and wet. I like to work from the roots and then keep adding more and more as I work my way all the way down to my ends. Then I go through and smooth it, make sure it's on the whole length of my hair. Then I just do my little shingle separation. And I honestly don't know with shingling if it's supposed to be certain size pieces or whatever. I just separate it into smaller pieces and some pieces are bigger than others and you know. I just roll with it. I like to shingle because I feel like it gives me better curl definition. And one of the many things that I love about being natural is that my hair doesn't have to be as perfect as I felt like it had to be when my hair was relaxed or even when my natural hair is straightened. Sometimes I'll go back and I'll see a section like this where it's frizzy and I just put a little bit more gel and it makes it a little better. I don't know, it's weird. My hair, like on the length of my hair, there's like a middle section that is just frizzier than the rest of the hair. Frizzier than the roots and frizzier than the ends. I don't know if that's from heat damage or if that's from my hair being colored or if it's just from genetics. I have no idea, but I roll with it. Sometimes I go back and fix some, other times I'm just like, whatever. So I'm just gonna keep on going with the curl definer and the gel, and of course my water. And I'll be back when the product is all in.
Okay, so I'm back from under the hooded dryer and these are my finished results. Now let's recap on the products. The curl definer, it was nice. I'm not sure if that even would have been a medium hold for me, but um, I'm really glad that I topped it off with the gel because it wouldn't have been enough. Maybe if I did a twist out, that would have been fine, but just for a wash and go, no. It was very creamy though. It was very moisturizing. I did enjoy the product, but I wouldn't use it on its own for a wash and go. Now the gel, the gel was very thick, so I figured I would get some good definition from it, and I am happy with the results that I did get, but it was kind of weird that sometimes when I was applying the gel, it would start to clump a little, but not like turn white clump, like the way that products clump together when they don't mix well, not like that, but just like a weird texture. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. I do like the results of this wash and go. Is it a product combo that I'm gonna reach for again and again? That I don't know. I might end up just giving these two products to my mom because she tends to do more braid outs and twist outs. And I think this might be better suited for that. Let me know down below in the comments if you subscribe to Curlbox and if you receive this box, have you tried these products yet? Did you like them? What style did you do? How did it work out for you? So that's about it for this Wash and Go Wednesday video featuring Luster's Pink from the March Curl Box. Yes, yeah, March. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.